of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to take part worthily in this Holy Eucharist. Let us pause for a while and recall all our sins and failures. Feel sorry for our shortcomings and ask for God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service and at all times obtain for us your help through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel, chapter 3, verses 25 and 34 to 43. A reading from the prophet Daniel, chapter 3, verses 25 and 34 to 43. In those days, Azariah stood and offered this prayer. In the midst of the fire, he opened his mouth and said, For your name's sake, do not give us up utterly, and do not break your covenant, and do not withdraw your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, and for the sake of Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to make their descendants as many as the stars of heaven, and as the sand on the shore of the sea. For we, O Lord, have become favored than any nation, and are brought low this day in all the world because of our sins. And at this time there is no prince or prophet or leader, no whole burnt offering or sacrifice, or oblation, or incense, no place to make an offering before you 
or to find mercy. Yet, with a contrite heart and a humble spirit, may we be accepted as though it were with whole burnt offerings of rams and bulls and with tens of thousands of fat lambs. Such may our sacrifice be in your sight this day and may it accomplish after you for there will be no shame for those who trust in you. And now, with all our hearts, we follow you. We fear you and seek your face. Do not put us to shame, but deal with us in your forbearance and in your abundance mercy. Deliver us in accordance with your marvelous work and give glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, Remember your compassion, O Lord. Remember your compassion, O Lord. O Lord, make me know your ways. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. Your response, Remember your compassion, O Lord. Remember your compassion, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. He shows the way to sinners. He guides the humble in right judgment. To humble, he teaches his ways. Your response, remember your compassion, O Lord. Remember your compassion, O Lord. Speak your words of life to me. 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 I am listening, I am listening, I am listening to you, O Lord. I am listening, I am listening, I am listening to you, O of life to me speak your words of life to me the Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 18, verses from 21 to 35. At that time, Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who wove him ten thousand talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, 
have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed and they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Today, the Lord is calling us to forgive and for the reconciliation. Just now we heard in the gospel reading about the forgiveness and reconciliation. Peter is asking Jesus, Lord Jesus, how many times I have to forgive? Seven times? Here we will have a doubt. Why Peter asked Jesus about seven times? We know the Jewish tradition, according to Jewish tradition, it is enough that if they forgive three times. That is why Peter here, he sounds like he is more generous. That is why he asked seven times. But Jesus replied, not seven times, seventy-seven times. So, if you calculate seven into seventy-seven times, we get four hundred and ninety times. Is it enough? Four hundred and ninety times if you forgive? No. Here, what Jesus is conveying us, the number 7 is a perfect number. And about, what about the 70? According to the survey, in general, the lifetime of a man, a human being, 70 years. Some may live till 80, 90, 100, and 104, or not 4. But in general, 70 years. Here, Jesus meant is throughout his lifetime, we had to forgive. Not, not only 490 times, throughout our lifetime, we have to keep on forgiving, forgiving, forgiving. My brothers and sisters, someone said like this about a, a family life. In the family, the couple will seek and wish to live a happy life. In the family, the wife and husband will seek for the happiness in their family life. You know, who will live this happy life? Only the good forgiving people, the good forgiving couple will have 
a happiness in their life. They can lead a happy life. We see in the history of the world, in the year 1972, on June 8th, there was a, a biggest war on Vietnam. There is a young lady by name Phan P. Kim Ho Po. In short form, they call her Kim. Four bombs were dropped on that particular area where she is living. She got injured. Her left arm was burnt up and her back burnt up. She is running, running and escaping from that big blast. And the photography man, the journalist, captured that running incident. After a few days, this picture is uh, printed on New York Times. After some years, this young lady grown up and became a bigger. And so many people called her for interviews. In the interview, they interviewed her, asked her some questions. What is the experience of in that horrible situation? She said, uh, from that time onwards, the anger is growing in my heart. You know how it is growing? Like a mountain, growing, 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 bigger, 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 like a biggest mountain. I am hating everybody, my neighbors, my colleagues, I am hating everyone because everyone is happy. They are enjoying. Why my life has become like this? I lost my beauty. I lost my health. Still I am suffering a little bit. And even decided to commit suicide to end the life. One day, in the year 1981, she went to a library. She is reading books, books, books. It happened to pick up the New Testament, the New Testament Bible. She is just turning out the pages in the Bible. She began to read the Gospels and she began to meditate, she began to assimilate, she began to understand the, the entire life of Jesus Christ. Happy times, sad times, suffering times, dying times, crying times, everything she began to understand, she began to study the entire life of Jesus Christ. Then she found that some unknown strength is in her, somebody is touching her, somebody is consoling her, somebody is filling her heart with hope. Then she began to understand the mightiness of forgiving, the mightiness of reconciliation. Till then, uh, she has no peace of mind, lot of hatred, lot of hatred. She is hating, simply getting angry, unable to forgive. There is no happiness in her life. When she learned about Christ, how he has forgiven from the cross in the dying moment. He said, Lord, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. She utterly listened to the words of Christ, to the words of Christ. She lended her ear exclusively to these words of Christ. That day onwards, she has forgiven, even though the stains are there still fresh on her skin, face and left hand and back, but her heart is cleansed. There is nothing in her heart. There is a pure joy in her heart. She is able to live a bold life, happy life. And she began to 
experienced the prosperity in her life from that day onwards, when she began to forgive, when she began to surrender, surrender for the reconciliation. She has seen a, a miracle in her life. She experienced a, a great miracle in her life. My brothers and sisters, in the word of God we read in the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 25. When you pray, if you feel that, if you have something against your brother, go to him, ask for forgiveness. It is a very hard thing for us in this society, in this contemporary society, the, big, the ego is ruling us. It is very, for us it is very hard to ask for forgiveness, even to forgive. Still we want to hold back, hold back and damage ourselves. My brothers and sisters, we read in St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 17, verse 4, if your brother is sinning against you seven times in a day, those seven times he is coming to you and reconciling with you and asking for forgiveness, you have to forgive him or forgive her seven times. There is no excuse for that. My brothers and sisters, if you are holding back the anger, it is nothing but you are holding a knife in your hand. You know what the knife will do? It will separate and it will cut into two pieces, into two parts. Through the anger that you are storing, storing, storing and collecting, 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 it is damaging you. If you are exhibiting that anger on your relatives, on your family members, it is damaging them, it is separating. The other hand, those who are forgiving and forgetting, they are like a holding a thread, a robe, a cord, which is connecting, binding together. You know, somebody will hold a calculator in their hand and will, they will count. So, Already I have forgiven one time, three times, ten times, twenty times. Is it enough? Is it enough? It is enough. I cannot forgive them anymore. It's done. I'm tired of forgiving. If you are saying like that, you are collapsing the bridge on which you are walking, the bridge of the heaven. You are damaging that and you are collapsing it. My brothers and sisters, let us introspect ourselves and see what we are holding in our hand. Sword, a robe or thread or cord, which, is, which will connect or which will bind them together or a calculator. God is asking us in today's gospel reading to bind together, to connect together, to live together through forgiveness and reconciliation. Are we ready to forgive? Let us reflect today. And let us also reflect for the times we hated, for the times we have not shown the forgiveness that we have received from our Lord. In our Father we say with love and with great voices, Lord forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Remember that always. With this message, may the Lord bless us all. Amen.
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and ever's may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and our good of all his holy church grant us O Lord we pray that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your Almighty Father through Christ our Lord Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just truly our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God our force, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, 
with Francis, our Pope, Fula Antoni, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call thee Father, this thy child returns to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them. Never will I sin again. By my sins I have deserved death and endless misery. Hell with all these pains and torments and for all eternity. Jesus Lord, I ask for mercy, let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them, never will I see.